Hello, my friends. Let's learn about Martin Luther King Jr. Day. To practice your English, as you listen, I want you to write two questions to ask about Martin Luther King. To completely understand this holiday, we need to first look back in the past. In the past, the United States had slaves. And in 1865, slavery officially ends in the United States. However, violence, discrimination, racism, and segregation continue. Here are some examples of the discrimination and segregation that Black people faced in the United States in this time. For instance, restaurants would have two entrances, one for white people and one for Black people. Here is a similar situation where there is a white drinking fountain and then a drinking fountain for not white people. At this time, schools were also separated based on race. In this picture, you see a student named Elizabeth Eckford, who was one of the first black students to go to a high school in the state of Arkansas. And as you can see, not everyone enjoyed this decision. So she had to be protected with the National Guard. It was her and eight other students. But they faced violence and discrimination at this school as well. During this time, there were also a lot of murders of Black people. Here is the story of Emmett Till. Emmett Till was a teenager who was visiting his family in Mississippi when he was murdered. Stories about discrimination and violence like this led to what we call the civil rights movement in the United States. It was people saying enough is enough. And one of the people who fought for equality was a man named Martin Luther King Jr. And Martin Luther King Jr. was one of the leaders of the civil rights movement. He is also famous for giving a speech in 1963 called the I Have a Dream speech. We will watch a little bit of this speech to have a better understanding of Martin Luther King's ideas and his gifts as a speaker. I have, I have the, the pleasure, pleasure to present to you Dr. Dr. Martin, Martin Luther King. King. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, 
The life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. I have the pleasure. You can watch more of this speech on YouTube. Please let me know if you have any questions. There is some difficult vocabulary and grammar, but it is one of the great speeches of American history. In 1964, the Civil Rights Act becomes law, and this Rights Act outlawed discrimination and ensured equal access to public spaces. Here you can see Martin Luther King with the president who signed this in 1964, Lyndon B. Johnson. This law was very important to make sure things like voting was an equal right for all Americans, no matter the color of their skin. Unfortunately, in 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. is assassinated for these ideas. He was in Tennessee at a hotel and he was shot. However, this did not end his legacy. In 1983, Martin Luther King Jr. Day becomes a national holiday. And the idea is that this is a day for all Americans to volunteer or serve to help improve their communities. For many people, this is a day off from work or school, but it is supposed to be a day of action where we all work to make our community a better place to live. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is always the third Monday in January. So even the date can change, even though the date can change, it's always the third Monday, one, two, three. And here you see a picture of the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial that is located in Washington, D.C. My friends, this is important history to learn here in the United States. So if you are interested in learning more or reading more, please let me know and I am happy to give you recommendations of books or movies or podcasts that can help you learn more about this time in American history. If you have any questions, please comment below the YouTube video or on Facebook or bring them to class and I would be happy to answer them. Practice, 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 and never give up. And never fight, never give up fighting to make our communities better.